mother and daughter like to share a bed naked. I'm Paula, I'm 27 years old. What up, Paula? In the perfect world, I would spend all the hours in the day with my mom, naked and in bed. Good morning. Good morning. This is yours, because I know you like oh, less. Okay. I am Francia. I am 46 years old, and I am the mother of this beautiful, mm -hmm. wonderful kid, <laughs> Paula. What's the math on that? 46, 20, 27, uh, 19. Okay. She's always been the cool mom because she's so much fun. We party together. Oh. We play together. We dance a lot to anything. Music is so important in our culture. In hey, where's the father in this? Where's the dad? What the fuck? They're doing a lot. Together. I just want to know where the dad's at. My thing, they party together. I'm getting scared. Like, well, what else are y'all doing together? They just said that we have a lot of fun together. And they already sleep in the bed naked together. We've cooked and cleaned naked. I do everything naked. <laughs> <laughs> Being naked with my daughter because it's so natural for me. I feel that it's just connection. It's, it's just, we are just one. I know everything about Paula. I know even when she goes and do number two, she tells me. She's like, I'm about to do number two. And I was like, me too. Let's do it together. Okay. She runs All away. right. Now, wait a minute. If this is within the parameters of the law, then I guess, you know, have at it. Could you imagine if the 56 year old dad liked being in bed with the however old son naked? Would that not scream or also, why predator? Is it, why also is it mother, dad, and daughter sleeping together naked in bed? The dad is completely non-existent. Like, it's, oh, it's okay, it's the dog. Well, I don't think anyone says this is okay, but oh, daughter, dad, mom, and daughter, but what about dad and son? Wouldn't that be exponentially weirder? Well, they couldn't film that. They would not film that. Yeah, they're getting the cops called on them. Yeah. If the dad says, 47 year old dad, 27 year old son. I want to be with my kid naked. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, sir, your child protective services is coming in and taking- oh. Cat. I know, but I wanted to you do it. You want to be me so bad. Whoa! Whoa! Hey. Oh, close, close. Okay. Whoa! To America, it was just me and her. And I was only nine years old. And then just having to move to a whole different country and pick up a whole other language. Everything was just really hard. And we've been super close ever since. Super close. There's not a word that describes the love that I have for my daughter. She's everything to me. Mommy, you're gonna you're gonna finish that, right? Just chug it. I don't want to, but sometimes she can be my mother. <laughs> your what? mother? <laughs> it's funny, yeah. It's like the roles are reversed. I feel like you're a kid at heart. She's youthful. She's fun. She just wants to party and play all the time. <laughs> and I'm more like, <laughs> yeah, like a mother. I'm the one who does the cooking in the house. I do the cleaning because she works a lot. I pack her lunch. I'll pack her juices, make sure she takes them. And snacks. I have to make sure that I eat that. She actually checks <laughs> that I ate the food. Because you're 27. Yeah. Like, you're 47, man. Eat this. <laughs> so I have to eat it. <laughs> Should we do a little meditation, like a three minute meditation? Yeah, absolutely. Let's you have time, that. right? Yeah. Here. Let's oh, hold hands. Okay. Five minutes of happiness is something that- The hand holding. Hey, that's not part of the meditation. meditation. My time. And she told me, I just need five minutes that we can go to bed and tickle each other and- Tickle each other? Hey. Either meditate or we tell each other jokes or tell each other about our day. It makes us feel like I'm a little child and we're friends and we're just yeah. having- No, no, y'all are acting like you're in a relationship like, pretty much. I'm gonna tickle you until you die. And she starts and she doesn't stop. And I'm like, oh, I okay. can't tell you that. <laughs> to me, spending time with each other is me having her undivided attention, like having her close to me, looking at me, listening to me. Because she's so busy, you know, she gets so caught up in working so much so she could provide that she, sometimes she, you know, she doesn't take time for me. And that's how it's challenging for me to have a relationship. I, I used to have a boyfriend and she had a feeling. Hey! 
like he's taking my mother away from me. Well, I try to influence her love life. If I don't like a guy she's seeing, I tell her you shouldn't see him anymore. I don't like him for you. You deserve better. What, I want uh, the best for her. What, yeah, see there. We both have. True. Well, I thought this was gonna be like funny at first. This is getting dark. That is a very weird dynamic where the mom would be jealous if the daughter got a man's. You're taking too much time with him. He's bad for you. Come spend time with me. I'm lonely and sad and depressed. And vice versa. And the guy's like, so are we what? sleeping naked together tonight or what? <laughs> I'll sleep with you and the daughter. I have no problem with you guys being naked in the bed with me. I don't want to take away your time together with her. Just oh. pretend I'm not here. <laughs> To call my mom, call Alejandra, but please don't forget to to like practice English with her. Okay. Because she's not practicing enough, so okay. I want her to practice English. So talk to her in English. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm in the process of adopting my niece Alejandra from Colombia. Okay. Alejandra is the daughter of my dear sister, who passed away a year and a half ago. She suffered from stomach cancer, and we knew that she was going to pass away one day. So my sister made sure that Alejandra was going to be with us. And then they're gonna groom her. Oh, yeah. You already see that coming from a mile away. Well, you go straight from you were a child being raised by your mom who raised you one way and then you're, wait, what are we doing over here? I have to provide and, and be a good mother to my niece. Okay. Yeah, so don't make her sleep with you naked. <laughs> Please. Okay. So I plan with Alejandra to do something fun with her friends. She's gonna take pictures with everyone. So she'll take pictures and make an album? Weird yes, angle. Oh, like that. I like so that, when yeah. she comes here, she will have that memory of her friends. That's so cute. I think life is going to change dramatically. Yes. Now that Alejandra is coming, I'm gonna become a mother again. And I have forgotten <laughs> about that. No, you already a mother. But what do you need? Well, she got kid. excited. We well, yeah, because she's gonna be a mom again. <laughs> Twenty-seven. She's yeah. aging out. She's like, okay, I got I my I new fresh uh, one, <laughs> new meditation <laughs> partner. Do we have to like what? Fix Alejandra's room today. Okay. Yeah. Alejandra's adoption process it has been so frustrating. Oh, no, not the new no, child. No. No. It just sucks that like. Whoa! Hey! The close-up! You know, we love to do as much anymore. Now our weekends consist of the adoption process and filling forms out and getting everything ready, getting the house prepared, all of that. So we're already not spending as much quality time as I'd like to. So you can grab... It's okay, you still live together. I don't need any more. <laughs> you still live together. Kind of heavy. Do you think that... With Alejandra being here and all, it's gonna like affect our relationship at all? Of course not. Okay, come here. Come here, just for a second. Is this something that you've been worried about? Honestly, yeah. I just was wondering, like, is my mom gonna show her all the love and attention and like forget about me? Yo, this is yo. You're 27. <laughs> yo, what happened was this mother woman. What is how old is she? Oh 50 something. God. 47. She had a child with a man who she shouldn't have. Picked the wrong guy. That dude left, and now she formed a very close bond with the daughter. So now you are searching for happiness, and you've put your happiness now in your daughter, and you brainwashed her now to her happiness. Happiness is within you. Mm -hmm. So you guys, oh, we can't be without each other. And now you've handicapped each other, and now you're adopting another girl that you're gonna bring it into. We're gonna have to date both of them. All right, who wants who? I'll take the 27th. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> when does she introduce the naked activities to the other daughter, right? If you do that with your daughters. How long have they been doing the naked thing together? That's what I'm trying to figure out. When did out. they start when, that? When did that start? And it affects both of them without them even realizing it even. And whose idea was it to start with the naked sleeping? <laughs> I just want to know who requested that. You and I raising her. Okay? Because I still need you. Of course. Like she's gonna need you, but I'm still gonna need you too. And you're still gonna have me. You're Everything right. Everything is gonna change, and you're still gonna be my baby. As sweet as it is to oh. reassure me that things are. That's kind of creepy. Be. Creepy. Things are all. Dang. <laughs> like I need to take advantage of this time now that I have my mom. You know, it's just me and her. I need to bond with her as much as I can now before Alejandra comes because it will be a challenge for me sharing my mom and all. So. I'm 
Considering you're, you're a 27 year old woman, you should be out of the fucking house. Well, but then now they have to raise a kid together, according Wait, to the You're 27 and doing what? Why are you still there? Do you have a job, ma'am? I get a weird feeling when my mom walks into my room when I'm changing. This is on another level. I agree with the, most of the comments. Francina and Paulina need intensive therapy because they're disrupting each other's growth in life. Paula will never be able to settle down or have a career away from her mother. And Francia enables her daughter to behave like a needy child, which will always interfere with her romantic relationships. I so, don't sleep with your mom naked.